What's happening friends, Don here with TroTech Laser Hacks. Today we're gonna to look at some tips and tricks focused on improving your laser skills. Let's get started. In this hack, we'll show you how to laser process an object on up to 16 different levels, all in a single job. For our example, we'll be engraving on each of the three levels of this bamboo spice rack. We've designed our file to match the dimensions of our sample exactly. We've also used separate colors to differentiate each level of engraving, as well as a fourth move away color, which I'll explain shortly. We begin by manually focusing the laser onto each level of our sample, and noting the z-axis measurement shown in job control. We've then assigned these measurements to their respective colors, alongside identical power and speed settings across all three. And these were selected to provide an engraving result that we were happy with on the bamboo surface. We've also set our move away color at 1% power and 100% speed, and copied over the highest z-axis measurement. In this case, it'll match the light green color you see on the tallest level. As an important note, prior to starting a job like this, be sure you've activated the No Moves feature on your laser. This can be done by going to Options, Process Options, Laser Homing, and selecting No Moves. This will prevent the laser head from refocusing at the end of your job and potentially causing a crash. Once each color along with your Move Away color have been correctly set up, we can begin the job. Job Control will process your file according to the order set up in your color palette, refocusing according to the z-axis values you've set for each one. Once all of your engraving is completed, the laser will move on to your move away color, moving the laser head well clear of your sample and protecting it from a potential crash. We can now remove our spice rack, replace it with another, and run the job again as needed. This process can be repeated for up to 16 colors, setting separate parameters and focus points for each one, and accounting for laser head clearance wherever needed. Thank you so much for watching and a huge thanks to Dave Stevens and our friends at TroTech Laser USA. You can find a link to them in the description below. Stay tuned for more hacks in the future.